you handle a customer that wants your best price, but that customer also says that they're not gonna buy today. Now, think about what's going through a customer's mind. They're nervous, they're dealing with someone that sells high ticket items for a living, and they're trying to make a good decision. I also want you to think about how many closes you know. How many? They're, they've got names, so if you know some, then name five of them. This matters because the average customer isn't gonna say yes to buying until the fifth time that you ask them to buy. Now think of that. To put it in perspective, the average salesperson knows one close, and the average sales manager, two closes. That tells you that you better know at least five closes then, right? I've got hundreds though, so I'm ready. Now this video is not about closing though. It's about what to do with the customer that wants your best price, that tells you they're not gonna buy today. Your first step is to follow the sales process. No matter the process that you've got in your dealership, it's probably gonna have the key steps to the sale. No matter what your customer has told you when they came in the store, you can't skip any of these steps either. Plus, you can't believe your customer when they tell you that they're not gonna buy today. Skip a step and you'll probably skip the entire sale. One, the greeting. Two, the investigation. Three, selection. Four is your presentation, then five is demo and close. I'm gonna demo every single customer that I wanna sell, which means that the first close I'm gonna use is the sold line close. Now, let's say that you're in a store that doesn't demo. Then if I can't demo, I'm gonna put my customer on the unit so they have a seat on it uh, that I'm trying to sell them. That's right, they've got to sit on the unit if you wanna change their minds from not buying today to taking it home right now. That'll get them to take some mental ownership of it. Then after I've given them the most incredible feature, advantage, benefit presentation in the history of the world that slams all their hot buttons into the ground, I'll get them to tell me how wonderful it feels. But here comes my first closing attempt. I'm going to tell them to grab the keys out of it so no one else can buy it and then follow me. I turn and I head to my desk, hopefully with them right behind me. If I was able to do a demo and they pull in the sold line, it means they're buying it. If I tell them to grab the keys, follow me and they do that, it also means that they want to buy it. That's close number one. But remember, they're not buying today. So uh, they tell me, oh, Tommy, I didn't say I was buying it right now. I just wanted to find out what your best price is. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. No problem. Let's go inside and I'll get some figures for you. Follow me. We sit down at my desk and then I'll write them up. My first question is, how do you want this registered? In just your name or was somebody else going to be on it uh, with you also? That's close number two. They're going to tell me how they want it registered or they're going to ask, why do you need that info right now? I'll respond with, it doesn't mean that you have to buy it right now, but I'll just print out some different payment options for you so you've got some something to think about. Sound fair? So now, I've got no number two, unfortunately. So anyway, I finish the write-up, go over to my sales manager, get a moto menu printed out, sit back down at my desk with the customer, and I go over the figures. Then, I'm silent. By the way, that's not a sales gimmick or a tactic or a closing trick. It's just the way the human mind works. The average person takes about eight seconds to process a thought. Just present the numbers and then let them think. That's close number three. It's the silent close. Now let's assume this customer says, okay, can I keep this? You know that's what half of them are gonna say. People that say they're not buying today but they want your best price, they always want the write up too, right? My response would be, before you take off, Mr. Customer, what's your biggest concern? Is it the price, the payments, or both? What I'm doing here is I'm helping them create an objection. There is no wrong answer. I can overcome any of those objections. He's gonna give me an objection. If it's a price objection, then I just isolate, rephrase, and close on that. If it's uh, the payment, then I cover that one. If it's both, like a lot of buyers, then I'll handle that one. That's close number Four, and this customer still won't commit to buying from me, so I've got another. Let's say the customer says, well, it's, it's none of that. I like the price, I like the payment, and you've been awesome, Tommy. It's time for close number five. So now I'm gonna use the one to 10 close. Mr. Customer, before you take off, I've got one last question. On a scale of one to 10, with a one meaning that you hate this thing and a 10 meaning that you totally love it, how would you rate this? Your customer's gonna give it a rating in between probably a six and a 10. After you ask for the one to 10 number, silence. Let them throw out a number. They're thinking, no matter what the number is that they give you, ask them, what would it take to make it a 10? This is where the true objection comes out. Now it's time to isolate, rephrase, and close on that objection. 
If you're a platinum subscriber to my Inner Circle sales program, then you've got access to everything that I just did. Plus, you've got tons of other closes that I'd use with this customer. What you need to remember about a situation like this, customers aren't trying to be tough. They're just trying to make a good decision. So when you get that buyer that wants your best price, but they won't commit to buying right now, follow the steps to the sale so you can build the value that they're needing to make a purchase right now. Just make sure that you remember what they're trying to accomplish and keep closing. That's it for this session. If you liked it, then please click like or share and make sure that you subscribe to me. I'll also check out my I Sell Moto Challenge on my site. Adios.